There you go. Get the, this, is, this one's the new knee, is that's, that right? That's the new one, yeah. OK, so we've got to take care of that one. And that one's yeah. still hanging in there? If that's still sore, but it's better than that one. It's better than that one. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons why these two knees are sore is all of the legendary performances that you put in for so many uh, teams, in, including Ireland. 30 years. 30 years since USA 94. Wow, wow. Long time. Long, Long time. time. Yeah. Luckily enough, uh, we're going to take a little look. Uh, this will bring you back and bring everybody at home back. Have a look at this. So uh, you were man of the match for Ireland that day and you shouldn't even have been on the pitch. Um, yeah, I had a problem with my, um, uh, my shoulder, my left shoulder, and I should not have been on the pitch. Uh, when, that's, a, that's a very Paul McGrath understated way of, of saying you, you basically couldn't move this arm at all. My, yeah, my left arm was a bit knackered, so... <laughs> but, um, the, you know, it, it, I could drag it along with me. You know, if I was sprinting and stuff like that. It was, it was, it was coming with me. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. But I was getting away with things that day. But Phil Babb and and uh, Terry Field and, and uh, Dennis Irwin in particular were were brilliant. At, as, I mean, we all we all just defended for our lives that day because it was the Italians, and um, everyone just worked together, and we got we got through it. You got the job done, and I mean, yeah. was there an Irish person who lived in America who wasn't in that stadium? I mean, it was yeah, crazy. We, yeah, we bought the place out. I think the yeah. Italians were were a little bit raging that you know the very small sections of them were were were, were there. But um, yeah, it was it was it was always going to be our day. When we walked out and saw how many Irish were there, it was just scary, like you know. So, and um, yeah, it worked out okay for us. It did work out okay. Um, you would have went through a brick wall for Jack. Was that fair to say? Ah, yeah, yeah. Jack treated me really well, and um, you know, even when I wasn't maybe on the best of form and stuff like that, he always brought me on the trips and and, and stuff. He didn't always blame me, like, but um, he always brought me with the team and made made me want, want to feel uh, part of the team and stuff like that. But, he, he was uh, sort of a father figure to you in ways, was he? Yeah, yeah, I think he was. He, he, um, he always wanted me in the team, but um, there were certain times I tested his patience. Yeah, like what way? That was a nice Paul? way of putting that it. That is a very nice way <laughs> of putting it. Um, you, you, because you didn't always agree, and, uh, but, but, but there was an understanding there, wasn't there? there was a... Yeah, oh yeah. I, 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 all the lads loved uh, Jack, though. You know, and um, no more so than me as well, because I, I, I think I came back from, um, where was I, where was I that time? Israel. Oh, yeah, I went to Israel for a visit for some reason. And uh, then we, I flew back, we flew back. I wanted a partner there. No, I flew back on my own. And um, um, Jack said, well, you, you can come back then, but you're not going to be playing in the next game. And... Uh, and uh, so he just blocked me for one game. But he, he could have said, you, you're getting a seven-game ban. You know, he never, he never did that. So, um, so I, you know, he really did look after me sort of thing, you know, arm around the shoulder and all that sort of thing. And he was brilliant at that. Uh, you played for, for a few legendary managers, you know, Jack Charton and, yeah. uh, you know, Graham Taylor, Alex Ferguson. Uh, Fergie had a kind of a different style to Jack, didn't he? Um, he did. He did. He did. Yeah. He did. He he tried to to pay you to quit football. 
He tried to pay me, yeah, he tried to give me a few bob just to say I, I'd, I'd quit it and stuff like that, but I... Now, you say a few bob. What was, what was a few bob? Um, well, it wasn't... It wasn't enough to stop you playing football. <laughs> you know what I mean? If he was going to offer me, if he was going to offer me an absolute fortune to stop playing football, but it wasn't, you know. But I would, to be honest, I still wanted to play football. So I wasn't. No matter if I had been a lot of money, I wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have given up some of the games I'd played even since, simply because he wanted me to out of the game. He just did not want me playing, and. Uh, but, but then I understood from his point of view why he wanted me out, because we, there was a few of us were drinking re you know, recklessly. And so we were being a bit stupid and young lads and all this sort of stuff. And we, he was right to try and uh, try. Well, I, he didn't try and get us out. He got us out.